Hello everyone, this is Jay Karthik and Prabhakar here from MathWorks. This video is divided into two parts where in the part 1 of this video, I am going to show you how you can use the Simulink Coder support package for ST Microelectronics nuclear boards to read the analog values from an analog input ports of an STM32 nuclear board using a potentiometer connected to it. In the part 2, we will continue working with the same model to understand how to use a PWM signal to adjust the brightness of an LED connected to the PWM port. At the end of the video, we will use both these capabilities to adjust the brightness of an LED using the potentiometer. Also, we will use the same model to vary the speed of the DC motor using a L298N motor driver using the PWM signal. Before we get started, make sure you have MATLAB installed in your PC along with Simulink and Simulink Coder support package for ST Microelectronics nuclear boards. If you want to learn more about how to install the Simulink Coder support package for ST Microelectronics nuclear boards, please refer the link in the description of this video. You will need a potentiometer, a breadboard with few jumper wires and a nuclear board that is supported by the hardware support package to follow along. You can see the list of hardware supported by a particular support package in the MATLAB documentation. I'll be using the Nuclear 401RE board in this video. To get started, open Simulink, create a blank model and save the model with the name of your choice. I'll be calling it ADC. Once you have saved the model, configure the model for the specific hardware configuration that we are going to use. To do this, click on the Modeling tab, select the Model Settings and under Hardware Implementation pane, select the hardware of your choice. In my case, it's going to be the STM32 Nuclear 401RE. Then under Target Hardware Resources, you have to enter the COM port of the hardware that has to be used for the connected I.O. and external mode. To find the COM port of your hardware, go to Device Manager and under Ports, you can find the COM port of your hardware. In my case, it's COM4 for the nuclear board that I have. Enter this value and click on Apply. To learn more about why we need these values to be entered, Please watch the working with digital inputs and outputs on the STM32 using Simulink video mentioned in the description. Now you will see that there is a new tab called Hardware with the selected hardware board. This shows that the model is ready with the hardware configuration. Let us add the ADC block from the Simulink Coder support package for ST Microelectronics nuclear boards. If you double click on the block, it will open the block parameters window where you can configure the block with various different parameters. To get more information about each of these parameters specific to a block, click on the help button. You will be able to see the help page with all the details specific to a block. As you can see on the help page, if the measured voltage equals to the ground voltage, the block emits zero and when it measures the analog reference voltage, which is 3.3 volts on the 401RE board, it emits one. Say for example, the measured voltage is 1.65 which is half of 3.3, the block will emit 0.5 as the value. Now that we understood how the block works, let's try it on the hardware. To do that, let's specify the pin configuration of the analog pin that we are going to use. You can click on the view pin map to identify the pin name of the pin that you are going to use. In my case, it's going to be the analog port 0. Let me specify this value and then click on apply. As the next step, add the display block to read the output values of the block in real time. Before we run the model on the hardware, let's wire the hardware with the potentiometer as per the circuit diagram. Once the model and the hardware setup is ready, run the model in the connected I.O. mode to see the real time action. To learn more about different modes of working with your hardware from Simulink, please watch the working with digital inputs and outputs on STM32 using Simulink video mentioned in the description. As the model runs, you will start reading the values from the analog input port which is displayed on the display block. You can also log the signal and visualize it in the simulation data inspector. Please read the documentation on the data inspector to learn more about it. As you can see, when I turn the potentiometer from 0 to 3.3 volt, the values on the signal changes from 0 to 1. With this, we come to the conclusion of part 1 of this video. In part 2, we will continue working with the same model. To adjust the brightness of an LED using the potentiometer and also to vary the speed of the DC motor using the PWM signal. Thank you for watching.